Welcome to another quick VEX setup. This time primitive displacement that works with any object and obviously using VEX. The setup is pretty straightforward. I have a grid with a lot of divisions and each of those primitive has its own points by using the fuse node. Then I used a two dimensional object, in this case a letter. Then with the scatter node I generated quite a lot of points on the surface of that object. The points then go into the second input of the wrangle where the displacement is created. On the wrangle itself you have parameters to control min and max values that define the displacement. In addition to that you can control a random value generated by the primitive number and another one controlled by the position of one point of that primitive. Now I animated the object so that you can see the displacement in relation to its position. Now let's take a quick look at the code. The wrangle itself is set to primitive. First I get the points of the current primitive and the position of the first one. After that I open a point cloud on the second input. The origin is the selected point with a defined reach and up to 100 points. If the cloud finds anything I go into the displace operation. I take the amount of the found points that have to be from 1 to 100 and fit that value into the min and max values controlled by the parameters. As soon as the displacement value is higher than zero, we also bring in the other two random parameters. As I said, the first one is generated through the primitive number and the second one takes in the position. After that, both values are added onto the displacement. With the displacement ready, we go over all of the points and set that as new position. And in a last step, all primitives that got influenced by this operation get the attribute keep. It allows me to only show the displaced primitives or if I wish to do so, only the original grid reduced by the affected primitives. There are multiple ways to get to this result, but the bonus of doing it this way, you can get an interesting effect by playing with the reach. The reach that defines the radius to open the point cloud. If I use a smaller reach, the shape of the original object is much clearer to see. If I increase the reach, you get a longer gradient of displacement. So overall, it gives you all the control over the displacement you might need. Let's grab a quick flipbook and see how it looks. I hope you found something useful here and I see you next time.